Welcome back to Let's Play Grand Touring Nismo 4, Part 64. Man, oh man, do I have a bunch to share in this video, because, uh... That's the only word I can describe it with, is just, uh... Countless amounts of issues and shenanigans and headachery. It doesn't have anything to do with the driving missions themselves. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about other stuff that made everything a huge, huge, huge headache. And this is kind of a bad video to do a little bit of ranting and complaining and bitching in because this is probably going to be one of those videos that get the most views throughout this LP because, like, driving missions and whatnot. But I'm going to do it anyway because I got to let off some steam. So, um, pretty much what happened with this... I finished the GT World Championship, and I'm like, alright, it's time to finish up the driving missions, and then I'll start the El Capitan 200 mile enduro. And I said, screw it. I'm going to try streaming again. So I get that all set up. I, or at least I thought I had it set up right. Spent like almost a full day trying to figure out the audio alone to record certain audio to certain audio tracks so I can edit it properly and get rid of the Spotify for the recording. Finally got that figured out, so I'm like, bet. Let's start streaming. And then, after I'm done with the driving missions, and I'm pretty sure after I was done with the endurance race, or, well, the first part of the enduro, also the race is finished, that was pretty easy, um, I realized that OBS had an option selected where it was using the stream, en the stream encoder for the recording. So you're going to see on Mission 34 itself, the quality is going to look like absolute dog dookie because it was recording in super low bitrate for the stream. So, yeah, I redid these first four missions except that one. I, I didn't bother redoing Mission 34. One time is good enough. So I went back and redid these in 4K. So they look all crispy and gorgeous and whatnot. So at least there's that. You're welcome, by the way. Because, uh, I also tried to stream this part too. And I spent about 30 minutes after putting my live notification out, trying to figure out the audio problems. After about 10 times restarting the stream, I finally figured that out. And then, when I actually tried to play, I noticed that my... OBS was eating up so much of both my GPUs because I had a downscaling option selected for the stream. And apparently that eats away at your GPU if you downscale the resolution of that's different from your base or recording resolution. So I spent another 15 minutes trying to figure that out and I just flat out gave up because it was getting really annoying and well... Everything just stacked up on top of that, and I just got really, really irritated, and I'm like, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to record this normally, and then maybe whenever I start doing endurance races, or whenever I get around to doing them, then I'll try to stream in the same quality that I'm recording it, which is probably going to be 1440 or 1080. So, yeah. That's all the shenanigans I've gone through, and as far as, like, El Capitan 200 mile itself. I was halfway done with the race. And then I made a save state, closed out a PACSX2 to go get some food. And whenever I came back, I accidentally save stated it again in the menu. So I lost all my progress. And that was like, yay. I don't know. Point is, I am quite frustrated about all these shenanigans that have happened, but what what can I do about it? Absolutely nothing, that's what. So here we are. Yep. Now I could probably talk about the gameplay now that I got that out of the way, so here we are here we are la 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 la. Now that I've ran out of pissed off things to say, here comes a stuttering. 4GT on Seattle Reverse. 
just like the license test, except I think the license test, no, that was uh, the f normal way around this track, whatever. Yep, it has the assist on, and it loves to get loose on you, so just break in a straight line wherever you can, and uh, just manhandle it around the entire track, pretty much. It's kind of have to, or kind of have, kind of have, yes, kind of how you have to go around this joint. Great choice of words. My, my brain has been deteriorating all day. And, uh, I'm just about to had it. Mm -mm -mm. So, yep, uh, flying through the Chaz slash Chop District, I'm pretty sure. Surprised I didn't run over a few commies right there. Bonk. So, yeah, that was interesting. Make my way around the Taurus after giving him another love tap right there. Roll through the hood in a fucked up Taurus. Fa la 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 la. So, yep, there we go. Seattle's now complete. Most of these missions actually weren't that bad. I know uh, my first time doing the missions, uh, I believe the high speed ring and this one were both on my first attempt, and then this time doing it, it was the first and second missions that were on my first attempt. The Seattle one was about four to five attempts both times. This one was first attempt, then it was about three or four for this one. And mission 34 took me about 45 minutes in general to beat. Just to give you an idea of how it all went down. So Cadillacs again, it, it handles okay. The brakes are kind of not great, but it's whatever. Squeeze my way around the GTO right there. And yeah, I don't really have that much to talk about in this. I've already worn myself out with all the bitching in the first half of this video. Way late on the brakes right here, but it's Infineon. That's all tarmac back there. It really doesn't matter. If anything, I think it's actually more of a benefit because you get a faster exit. But yeah. still bad at this corner. I think I'll always be bad at that corner for the rest of my life. And, uh, yeah, this one I did pretty decent on. I think my first time around I probably did a little bit better, but I don't know exactly. But there we go, across the line. So 1.8 seconds ahead of the GNX. Pretty solid win. Pretty solid indeed. And uh, as far as prize credits go, the first four are 10,000 each, and then the last one is actually 50,000, which is very nice. So, yeah. And, um, yeah, this is it. This is the big poppy. And this is where the video is going to start looking like dog dookie because this was recorded at 5,000 bit right for the stream. Thank you, OBS, for being completely awesome but garbage at the same time. So yeah, you're gonna have to ple you're gonna have the pleasure of looking at this. I don't know. And at first I thought all the audio was butchered because whenever I tried to import it, 
into Premiere the, for the first time, I forgot to have my other audio tracks highlighted to where it actually imports the rest of the tracks, and it only did one. And I was like, well, God damn it, OBS, you fucked up again! But it turns out it was just my own head assery, so... I was actually able to salvage the game audio from this clip. And if I wasn't able to, then I was going to replace the awkward silence with a bass boosted oh yeah. Which I thought was hilarious because bass boosted haha memes funny, yeah. I don't know. I might do it still, I don't know. It depends on my mood whenever I start editing this thing together. So yeah, mission 34. Hell of a lot less of a headache on the emulator because you can just skip the wait time with the save states, which is nice. Pretty much means more driving and less waiting. And that way if you fuck up at the very beginning of the run, you don't have to sit there and wait for two minutes again to start. So that's awesome. You might want to take note of the split time differences for this. Just so you use as a reference if you are using this as a guide to do it yourself. So there's there's at least something you can do. The problem with the car in general, first off, Mercedes. It's a Mercedes. Nothing more to say about it. Uh, it's a land yacht. It weighs a metric shit ton. It's really floaty. It's extremely unstable at high speeds. It doesn't like to turn. And, um, yeah, it's a turd bucket. I do not like this thing at all. Never have. But this is the last time... Until I get to the one-make races, that is. This is the last time this game is going to force me into a Mercedes. Thank God. Because they already... Circle jerked them around enough in the license tests. So yeah, this one can be mildly frustrating. Unless you're good, then it probably won't be at all. But yeah, just don't touch the grass, whatever you do. Grass is death around this place. And you can see I can go off the, cr the the crack, yes, the track right there, and lose quite a bit of speed, but it doesn't hurt me that much. Or at least I don't think it does. And if you're about this far behind this Mercedes by this point, then you're in pretty good shape. You should be able to pass them right after the carousel. I don't know if I already said this, but I beat this by about half a second, so... Yeah. Yep, I got nothing else to say, pretty much. Just... observe. Got a good sight of the car from this point. Don't touch the gravel, obviously. Don't turn in too early right here like I do all the time. Except there. Bonk. 
Surprised they didn't penalize me. So slow down preemptively for that jump because I've bounced off that corner so many times and it was incredibly infuriating, so just take it easy. Same with this section. I'm gonna bounce all over the place. You're gonna see me go into the grass like right now. Boing, 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 boing. And I think I go off in the grass right here too. Yep. Really terrible at that turn right there because of the poor approach. And, um, yeah. Pretty solid. You pretty much have to pass that uh, Mercedes thing, whatever it's called, right out the exit of that corner, because if you don't, then you have zero chance of winning this. And, uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to resume the live commentary from this point onwards. Woo, stay out of my way. Oh, that was too late on the brakes. Oh my god, it's going to be so close. I got it. Yes, motherfucker! Fuck you! Holy shit. It's over. Oh my god, it's over. Oh wow, 50k for that one. Very nice. But what's even nicer is the prize car. I've never gotten this in this game, so this is going to be a first. Oh, mommy. And there she is. Oh. Yes. 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 Holy shit. That does it. All driving missions complete. Bazinga. Now, uh, just so I don't forget. Alright. Now we're in the clear. I save stated it again so I don't rewind back to the start of one of those attempts. Well, let's check out the butte here. There she is. Nissan R89C. I already have the R92, the stealth one, but I haven't had this one before. I mean, it should be a pretty solid car. Now... This means I have to make a decision. As for the remainder of this playthrough. Uh, I think it's at the very bottom. All right, decision made, that was fast. I'm gonna do the El Capitan 200 mile endurance. I'll probably do that later today after I get some food and stuff like that. I have to render out another video anyways. And then after that's done, we'll get started with the Japan One Make races, which this should take a, quite a while to finish. 
and then after that's done we'll do the next special condition but we'll get to the air one where we get there but fuck yeah <laughs>